Ah, oh, thank you. It is great to be here today. So we have the Linux Foundation, and within that there's LFDT, Linux Foundation Distributed Trust, Decentralized Trust, and then within that there is Hiro. The Hiro project, there we are. Hello future, hello Hiro future. The Hiro project is the contribution from Hedera of all of the code. So this is the first time that a public blockchain DLT has taken all of its code, its open source code, and put it in an independent organization. So of course we have representatives on it, uh, you know, Hedera has joined uh, LFDT, but it's independent, we don't control it. You can get involved, you can become a contributor and then a maintainer, and then you can become part of the leadership and you can help run it. This is independent, this is a big deal. We are the first public blockchain or DLT to do this. I don't think we're the last. I think everyone should be doing this. And so we are very happy to have this new Hiro project and everything has been contributed. So it is the code for the mainnet validator nodes. It's the code for the mirror nodes that watch it and remember it. It's the code for the explorers that allow you to go back and see the whole history and do queries on it. It's the code for SDKs that help you to build on top of it. It's the code for all sorts of other tools. And this is just the beginning. This is what Hiro happens, has right now. But if you are, for example, building a wallet in the ecosystem, you could have your wallet project be a project under Hiro. You are hap uh, we are happy to have you bring your open source project and make it part of Hiro. And we can uh, bring everyone together to work on this together. So this is what Hiro is. Today is actually the fifth anniversary. Today is the fifth anniversary of open access. This is when Hedera first became accessible to the world. So the network had been running with just a test group using it, and it was five years ago today that Hedera opened up to the world. And now today, five years later, is the first time that any public blockchain or DLT has contributed all of its open source code to this independent organization, to an independent organization. And so today we are happy to celebrate our fifth anniversary with this major milestone. Hiero, as in hieroglyphics, the logo for it is actually the hieroglyphic for the letter H in ancient Egyptian. And you can see there a picture of an actual ancient Egyptian carved uh, wall that has the Hiero logo in it. And that is the hieroglyphic for the letter H. So here's how, what we're doing. Um, we are very excited to get you involved. So there are many ways that you can become involved. If you are a developer, if you are into open source, but maybe this blockchain, uh, Web3, cryptocurrency, and NFTs, and smart contracts, maybe that is a world that you haven't yet dug into. This is the perfect bridge for you. This is the perfect way for you to get involved in this new world of Web3, if you're deeply into Web2. If this is all new to you, this is the way to get involved. Because it's under the Linux Foundation, under LFDT, you can trust it. it. We are going to be spending a lot of effort on making this accessible for you so that it's easy for you to get involved. And so you can get involved. So how can you do that? Well, you can go to the lfdcentralizedtrust.org website. That's the LFDT website. And the LFDT website has all of the projects in LFDT, including Hiro. And you can see that. Or you can just go to hiro.org. And you can see all the projects that will become part of Hiro, Hiro, starting with all of this code that was contributed that I mentioned. But it will grow over time. And so from there, you can go to all of the GitHub repos. There's a lot of repos. And it's over 100 repos, I think. It's a huge number of repos. And you can get involved in those. You can see what's there. You can download it. You can play with it. You can start to contribute it. You can write issues for it. You can start to do commits and fix bugs, add features. You can discuss the commits and PRs from other people. You can discuss the issues online. You can even create PRs. And as you contribute, you can become a maintainer. You can become part of the core group that is actually building this ecosystem. And then you can even be part of the leadership. So I said we have representation on it, but over time, you become the leadership of Hiro. And that's the way it should be.
Uh, I'm excited to be part of Hiro, and I don't control it. And I'm excited to have you become part of Hiro and uh, be involved in, in building it up. Uh, you can also, more immediately, come by the Hedera booth and hear about the Hedera ecosystem and about what Hedera is doing and how we're part of Hiro and how we have contributed everything to Hiro and how we are funding it, uh, all sorts of ways that we are excited about Hiro. Come to our booth and you can learn about all of that. You can also come to our panel session today. So today at um, 3.25, we're going to have a 40-minute panel, and we'll have a number of people from our ecosystem, including Daniela, who you just saw, but we'll have several other people from the ecosystem on the panel. We'll be talking about Hyro. We'll be talking about things they're building on Hedera right now that they'll be building on this Hyro code base, and you can get involved in that. These are different ways you can get involved in Hyro, and then, of course, if you're already a Web3 veteran, if you're already a native of this ecosystem and you're already building on Hedera, you can now switch over to this Hyro ecosystem. And in fact, you can get your project, if you would like, to become part of Hyro. Hyro is an umbrella for all the projects. Why not join Hyro? And then your project will be part of the advertising of Hyro, and you'll be part of the ecosystem of people that are developing Hyro. So there are many different ways you can get involved. I think this is the future. This is the future of Hedera. We are betting everything on this. But I think this is the future of blockchain. This is the future of DLT. This is the way the world needs to go. You need to have open source software. That's a good foundation. But then you also need independent open governance of it. And that's also important of this code base. And so I think that we're blazing the way here in a way that other people will also be following. And this is important. So I would encourage you to get involved in that. Uh, I would encourage you to give us your feedback on where you would like it to be going and how you would like it to be evolving over time. And um, let me know what we can do for you. Let me know your feedback and how we can help you. Let me know how we can make it easier for you. I hope you'll come by our booth. I hope you'll come by our panel. I hope that you will uh, come and talk to me if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to do. And I just thank you for your attention. Thanks.